Million St. Hilaire, and in this video, we're going to talk about Mesh Central 2 and its support for Nginx. So, uh, what is this all about? So, first of all, um, so this is going to be about putting a TLS offloader in front of Mesh Central 2 or putting Nginx in front of Mesh Central 2 or any um, uh, basic reverse proxy. So, uh, basic understanding of how Mesh Central 2 works today. So, I have a, a slide here. This is without any load, load balancer, this is stock Mesh Central 2. So, what happens is that I'm going to ignore port 80 because that's not the interesting port. But uh, we have an HTTPS port on 443, and browsers and mesh agents connect using WebSocket to that port. And of course, they're both doing TLS. So it's TLS plus TCP plus, or, or an optionally WebSocket for a user who connects there. Or for the mesh agent, it's TLS plus uh, WebSocket. And uh, you connect to the same port. Of course, the URI that they're going to ask for is a little different, and that will uh, trigger different uh, code paths for both of these connections. Now, in both cases, the agent or the browser, they will see this web certificate, uh, you know, provided by the server. And this web certificate, by default, Mesh Central will generate one, but you can get one from Let's Encrypt or from one of many service providers that provide one for your domain name. And so um, this is the certificate that's presented. Browsers will see this, will authenticate the domain name and be okay. But agents will not be happy seeing the certificate because the problem is they, they want to uniquely identify their server and this certificate changes all the time. So, uh, and they don't have a list of trusted routes. So what happens is that the mesh agent connects, sees the certificate and say, okay, I see the certificate here, but this doesn't prove that you're the right server. And so once they connect, they do an inner check where they send basically commands inside the WebSocket and they validate uh, this agent certificate. This is the one they're looking for. And so the Mesh uh, Central will basically sign using this uh, agent certificate to the agent saying, yes, you're connected to the right place. And not only that, not only am I the right server, but you should have seen this certificate as the outer one. So the agent sees this one as the what we call the outer one, and then they, there's a set of commands going through inside the WebSocket to validate the certificate here. And at the same time, the, the server will say, I'm the right server, and this is the outer one you should have seen. Okay, and then for CIRA, if you're Intel AMT, AMT will connect to CIRA on this different port and it will see this CIRA certificate and say it's okay. Right, so this is how Mesh Central 2 works today. Now, the uh, second slide here, I, I kept the same graphic on the top, so this is what's today. And this, the bottom here, is what happens if you put Nginx in front. In fact, there's an I missing here, Nginx. So this is a reverse proxy. It's a, a standard piece of software that's used all over the place. And this is going to do all our TLS now. So, uh, so basically, it's going to receive the connections, perform the TLS, authenticate all the connections, and then forward non-TLS connections over to Mesh Central 2. So what's going to happen is that Mesh Central 2 needs to be configured with different ports, possibly different ports, depending if you're in the same machine or not. And it needs to be configured with um, to not do TLS on these ports. OK, so now we're going to configure Nginx with a web certificate for HTTPS on 443. We are going to take the CIRA certificate, this certificate here, and we're going to move it into Nginx. And um, and then we're going, and that will be the CIRA certificate. And so AMT will be happy. It will connect and see this certificate there and, and authenticate the server. And it will connect. And then the server will receive a non-TLS and handle it correctly. So that, that code path is easy. For the, the website, the web certificate here, well, um, browsers will connect will see this and be happy and then will be forward. But agents will see it and they'll connect and they'll ask the server uh, to authenticate using this cert. 
And then the server, Mesh Central 2, needs to tell the agent what certificate they should have seen on the outer layer. So in order to do that, you have to configure Mesh Central to go and load the HTTPS certificate, to load the certificate and hash it and keep it in store here so that when an authentication is required with the agent, the agent will see the certificate and, and Mesh Central will say, aha, you should have seen this guy on the outer layer and the agent will be happy. Okay, so, so what we'll need to do is configure Nginx, configure Mesh Central correctly, and we will configure Mesh Central to load the web certificate from Nginx. And this will happen every time the uh, Mesh Central starts. So now that, that's nice because you can change the certificate all you want. Right, you can modify it, uh, update it. Let's if it's a net, let's encrypt certificate, it changes every uh, 90 days. So this certificate will change occasionally. Mesh Central will reload the certificate, and uh, everything will happen correctly. Another thing that that's interesting is that for HTTPS um, connection for connections on port 443, we want Nginx to add a few headers inside the HTTP headers, and the reason we want to do that is because from Mesh Central's point of view, it looks like all the connections are coming from Nginx. Well, there's some options, there's some logging options in Mesh Central too, and there's also some uh, ways where you can ban uh, or restrict which IP addresses can connect for certain purposes. So, of course, you know, now that all the connections are coming from Nginx, it kind of hides the true IP address of the browser and the agent here. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask Nginx to add a few extra headers to the, each HTTP coming in, and then Mesh Central is going to be configured to trust Nginx that those headers are correct and use those headers instead of the real IP address. So instead of using you know, the IP address of Nginx, use what Nginx told you in the headers um, you know, as the IP address of the remote browser or agent. OK, so this is how it's going to be set up. Now let's take a look at the configuration. I happen to have Visual Studio here. And we're going to take a look at two configuration files the nginx.config and, uh, and the web's uh, Mesh Central 2 config. So in my case here, nginx configuration, there's three big parts. There's the server listening on port 80. This is fairly easy. You just have to forward it um, onto Mesh Central. And in my case, I'm going to forward it to port 800 on Mesh Central 2. Um, and in this case, we want to add those special headers. And those special headers are going to be x forward host x forward 4 and x forward uh, protocol. And um, so you, you put that in and forward that over to uh, Mesh Central 2. So that's the kind of the, the port I haven't talked about in the previous slides. It's not that interesting. The uh, HTTPS listens on 443, does SSL. This is the certificate it's going to use. And here, uh, for the sake of uh, the example, I'm using the certificate that was generated by Mesh Central 2. So you go to Mesh Central 2, grab the certificate from the um, Mesh Central data folder, and put it put it in, in, in GenX. And so this is what I'm using right here and right here. So uh, then there's a couple timeouts. One thing that's important here is that Mesh agents will look, use long-standing connections, and so you don't want to timeout quickly because then the agents have to reconnect all the time. And also, it, um, you know, it's, it's kind of annoying for the server. So you, you put a very long time out here. Uh, lastly, uh, location, let's see. Uh, basically, forward the, the incoming 443 connection after you do the TLS, forward it to 4430, in my case, uh, on the local machine. And because WebSockets are going to be heavily used, by, both by the agent and by uh, the users with browsers, it's important to support WebSocket right here. And lastly, also add the headers so that uh, Nginx can tell Mesh Central what, uh, what's the real IP, what protocol, and so on of, um, of the user. So that's good. So that's uh, port 80, 443. Lastly, we have Sierra connections. So Intel AMT connects over on port 4433. We want to decrypt this. We're going to use the, the MPS certificate 
that was generated by Mesh Central. We're just going to copy it over to Nginx and use that. Again, long time out, and then forward to, uh, in my case, port 44330 uh, on Mesh Central uh, 2. So this should take care of all three situations and the right certificates and the right uh, also handling WebSocket and handling uh, adding the right headers to inform Mesh Central what's going on. So that's good. Lastly, uh, for configuration, this is the configuration file I have for Mesh, Mesh Central 2. Uh, this is the development one, so I have lots of goofy stuff here. But the important things to note is that now the main port of Mesh Central is 4430, but Alias port 443. That means that even though Mesh Central 2 is on 4430, when Mesh Central 2 configures agents to connect back to Mesh Central or when it, it has to tell a browser where to go or so on and so forth, it will not tell browsers to go on this port. It will tell browsers to go on 443, right? So that's because uh, there's something in the middle there doing that. The redirection port, typically that's port 80. Um, port 80 on Mesh Central is just used typically to just forward users over to 443. In this case, it's going to be on port 800. And as we saw here, uh, port 80 forwards to 800. You can use any port you want. Okay. And then, um, then there's this thing called TLS offload. This indicates that on the main port, on port 443, don't do TLS. Uh, now, Mesh Central 2 will still put all the security headers inside the, the responses to HTTP. So, for example, there's some headers that say, you know, expect all the resources to be loaded from HTTPS. Well, those headers are still going to be there. Uh, you know, when when you put this TLS offload flag. And you could put this to true, but if you put the IP address of uh, Nginx, uh, the IP address of, of this component right here, then it tells Mesh Central to trust this component for these extra headers. So what it says here is that when I get on port 44 three zero an HTTP request and it is um, and it has those extra headers trust them if they come from this IP address okay uh, then lastly we so that, that that's done for our main port and then for Sira uh, we call that the um, uh, management presence server or MPS uh, server uh, then uh, then what we do is we change the port instead of 4433, we change it to 44330 in this case, uh, and we have an alias port on 4433. That means configure AMT to connect to 4433 on your server, but in reality you're going to bind to 44330. And then TLS, uh, MPS TLS offload, this indicates don't do TLS on that port uh, except connection plane. Okay, so once we have that done, um, then all we need to do is, I'm going to pop up two windows here to just demonstrate this. So I'm going to load Nginx first. There you go. And I'm running N NGX, uh, Nginx from a command line here. Normally you run it as Windows service or so on and so forth. And by the way, the Nginx is also useful if you're going to do load balancing uh, in the future. So good. So we have Nginx running and then I'm going to do node mesh central enter no parameters here. That means everything is in the config file. And what you'll notice is that it runs the redirection port. That's normally on port 80, it runs it on 800. Then it loads the RSA web certificate from HTTPS port, uh, uh, I'm sorry, HTTPS 127.0.0.1. The default port here is 443. So it will load the outer certificate of, uh, of the that the agents will see from the address it loaded it correctly this is the SHA-384 uh, hash of that certificate and then the last thing i want to highlight is that the intel amt server is now on port um, uh, 44330 but aliased to 44433 so again listen on this port but pretend like you're actually on this port um, oh, and, and of course, the, the main port is on 44, 
LES443, and you'll notice now that it doesn't say HTTPS. It says HTTP because it doesn't run TLS. Okay, so now that I have this, I can hit refresh. Um, I, I load up my, um, my browser here. I'm going to my machine, but now uh, HTTPS is handled by Nginx, and I can log in. There you go. So now I see all my machines, and you'll see agents starting to reconnect here. I'm going to restart an agent just to force it to connect faster. Boom. So this c machine just connected. So here what you see, and I'm going to remote desktop into this computer, is that I am remote desktoped into a computer where a boat, where all the TLS, so the TLS for the browser here that I'm using, and the TLS for the remote agent of that machine, are both being processed by Nginx, not by Mesh Central. So, um, of course, one huge benefit of this is that you can, w once you've set this up, you can offload the TLS task to another machine or to hardware that's dedicated in, in doing that uh, and do it much faster. Uh, just for the last example here, just to prove that Sierra works, I'm going to go on the other machine. Let's see here. I'm going to enable Sierra uh, environment detection and there you go bam we just saw Sierra connect here so this is a Sierra connection or Intel AMT connection I'm going to put the user consent that's a machine that's just off, off screen and so now uh, I'm doing hardware KVM and the TLS has been taken care of by Nginx so yeah that's the demo uh again really the the, the tricky part or the, the thing that's unusual about mesh central that you don't usually have to deal with uh, on other applications that are behind nginx is really the configuration of this little thing here basically the mesh central needs to know the hash of the certificate of it that's going to be on 443 for nginx that's really like the the thing that's a little bit off standard uh, compared to other apps behind nginx so i hope this was clear this should make uh, your mesh central 2 more uh, scalable and in the future if you know how to do this well uh, if you want to run multiple mesh central load balance be behind nginx uh, you know the same configuration here will apply so thank you very much. Have a great day.